Friends in Jesus Christ, yesterday uh, the church celebrated the feast of the presentation of our Lord. So Jesus was presented in the temple. See, according to the custom uh, of the Jews, so the firstborn male child has to be given to the Lord, as mean, has to be presented to the Lord. Because in the time of Moses, in the time of Moses, though there were ten plagues. So uh, at the tenth plague, at the tenth plague, so every firstborn male of animals and of men uh, of the Israelites, oh, sorry, of the Egyptians, were completely dead. They were killed because the angel of death was passing by. Uh, passing uh, passing uh, at night uh, throughout Egypt throughout Egypt and wherever that blood mark was there on the door so the angel passed over that door particularly the doors of the Israelites and uh, the firstborn male of the Israelites were spared were spared so in remembrance in commemoration of that plague or that saving act of God so they have to dedicate or present the firstborn male child to the Lord so that was the custom and because of which uh, Mary and Joseph they were presenting Jesus in the temple and then so to redeem the child so they have to give an offering offering of lamb so rich people they are they will they will be able to buy the lamb and then offer to the Lord. But then it was the poor people who buy pigeons to offer to the Lord. So Mary and Joseph they were poor, so they therefore they were offering the doves to the Lord, uh, doves to the doves as an offering, according to a custom uh, that was given to them or law by Moses. So therefore, this was the things they were following, and uh, Simeon, who was there at the temple, he took the child and began to praise the Lord, saying, "I have seen the salvation, and I am ready to go at peace." So that symbolizes that Jesus is going to be the light of the world, light of the world, and therefore, dear friends, this is the implication for us: how Jesus became the light of the world. So let us. Be the light to the world, representing Jesus, uh, helping the people to remember Jesus, helping people to, to see Jesus in us. So let us practice this in our day-to-day -day life, dear friends. Thank you.